guys and welcome back to my channel power here again another miserable day in London it's raining for the third day in a row it's windy yeah I think we had some sort of storm uh, last night um, I finally got around to make a requested video thank you very much uh, I think it was Matt uh, thank you very much for the idea I think it's a really really good question uh, so the question was Pav can you tell us uh, what kind of screws and bolts do you use on your board upgrades, uh, etc. So guys, very important uh, subject, I believe. I already got a video uh, talking about the lock uh, nuts. Uh, that's important one to watch as well, guys. I'll explain to you in a second why. I will leave the video uh, on the link in the description below. Take a look. It's a couple of minutes uh, worth of your time. Uh, so, the reason why I want to talk about bolts and yeah, and screws, they're little tiny little things. And this is the reason why. So it doesn't matter what kind of board uh, we're going to take as an example. Street board, all-terrain board, very expensive board or cheap Chinese board. It does not matter. Because the ideal principle behind any electrical skateboard is that you got a fancy plank of wood. It could be carbon fiber coated, painted, gripped, whatever not. Which has four wheels and two to four motors, maybe single motor, battery, and these babies here are now capable of going 20, 30, some 40 mile an hour. But this is where uh, the importance of this video comes in. Everything is held together a little tiny, tiny screws, okay? So let's take a look at this uh, flex on steroids board, for instance. It's a 5,000 watt board, 12S. So she can go 35 mile an hour easily. So really and truly, you trust in yourself to one, two, three, four screws from your trucks separating away from the board and you kissing that ground. Your battery pack. It's held up into the deck by, in this instance, eight screws, in your instance maybe ten, maybe less, I don't know. The common sizes of the screws on the boards uh, vary from eight millimeters down to four millimeters depending on uh, where they are located, but in general they're still tiny. So there are two things you need to consider when you are building your board or if you want to make your board safer and upgrade it, okay? Number one, if you get a better quality screw, for starters, the Allen on the screw will be much more precise than if you get it from a uh, cheaper company, if you wish, yeah? So when you're trying to take your screw apart or take your board apart, the actual Allen key will not have this massive wobble. You see this movement? on a key. This is how much movement is there in actual Allen head. This is not good because I always recommend to apply some uh, blue lock or the blue thread lock on your screws because vibration, they do come out. I experienced the same on my custom motorbike. Everything is glued down because they do fall out and you don't want that to happen. So if you apply a bit of blue block, you really rely on this uh, Allen key to come out when you want it to and if the tolerances are not correct and obviously the cheaper manufacturers will not calibrate the machinery it's a cheaper material what you're gonna have is you will strip the screw and you will end up with a screw you cannot take out of your board it's possible to take him out I already got two videos on my channel guys and I will leave them in the description uh, below on the links take a look there are a couple of ways you can get the screws out, but this video is about upgrading the screw. So, I always upgrade the cheap Chinese screws that do come with the kit. Uh, and pretty much this is how they look like. Hopefully this will zoom in. See the Allen itself, it's, it's, not, it's very shallow and uh, the material of the screw is is shite yeah 
they will most likely going to strip on you on the first or second try and that's it. So what I do is I go for high tensile uh, screws. Yeah, I just take the screw out straight away, I measure the length and I go online and I buy a package. They are not expensive at all and there are different sizes available. Take a look. So guys, just a quick uh, explanation of what the high tensile uh, screws are and what is the difference. So I'm going to read it. You don't have to trust me, let's trust the Google. So, high tensile steel generally refers to as a low alloy steel that can withstand at a maximum strain without failing or breaking or getting deformed. It is having yield strength in the range of 50,000 to 100,000 pounds per square inch. So at the same time as uh, being a better material on the high tensile screws, they have to use better machinery to cut them because it's a, str it's a stronger material. Hence why I think, this is the reason why the tolerances on the actual Allen are much better you still got a little play, but not as much as on a cheap screw. At the same time, the depth of the actual uh, cup where the Allen, co Allen key goes into is much deeper, which gives you greater uh, contact surface on the tool, and that gives you a higher chance to take them out. Guys, them screws are not expensive, so I would strongly recommend uh, just, yeah, replace them. Trust me, you will save yourself a lot of grief uh, later on uh, if you... Yeah, strip one. Also, there are different um, uh, design heads of the screw, so you need to choose what do you require for your application. So, for instance, if you are working uh, with your deck and you want them to sink flush or with your deck because you're going to be standing on it, you get yourself the counter sink uh, screws. That's with a head like this. If you're applying a bit more strength and um, uh, you're fixing something to the board, like for instance the mortis, uh, to the mortar mounts. Uh, I would go for this, uh, I think it's called the button head screw. So what it does have, it's like, uh, it's like an inbuilt like washer, so it comes down and goes flat. And uh, yeah, they will protrude a little bit, but it, it has a nice uh, contact surface of the actual head of the screw when you tighten them up. When I do install the battery packs, the battery packs enclosures onto the deck, I go for this type of screws. See, it's got like a thicker head. What, what that gives me is a really deep cup where the uh, tool goes into. So these screws are almost impossible to strip. One other really good tip, guys. Yeah. Do not use crappy Allen keys that normally come with like mortars and you get tons of them sent here. This is why they send them because they are shit. Yeah, this will strip. So between the uh, back quality of the screw and back quality of the tool, you're definitely going to be in trouble. Invest in a uh, Allen key set. Yeah, these are not expensive. Yeah. So these are kits like this. I use them for a motorbike, I use them around the house. Uh, I mean, if you're in UK, like Halfords, uh, they make some if you wanna go really cheap. Uh, what am I using here? I'm using this sign, sign it, sign it, signet, signet, or whatever. I think it's German. Uh, I got some Halfords special. I go, normally go for like uh, one step up, like a Halfords, this one is Halfords Advanced. So you can always find really cheap, and if you just pay just a little bit more, you get you get um, a better quality. The reason why I'm saying that, guys, um, the tolerances of uh, the good tool are much more precise. Yeah, they are smaller. So look at this. So we got a good quality uh, screw right here, high tensile, and a decent quality tool. And the movement is almost nothing. And look how deep it goes inside the screw as well. So that will give me nice, good contact with the screw. So I can take it out or put it in, you know. Obviously don't over tighten them, but when the glue sets in, it's gonna be a tough time to get them out. 
Okay, get yourself a nice little ratchet as well. You know, your experience building DIY boards or working on it should be positive. And when you start getting broken screws and tools slipping and you're gonna get all emotional and frustrated and you're gonna start hating DIY and electrical skateboarding in general. So that's it guys. So get yourself better screws, they're not expensive. Use blue block on your screws, that will stop them from falling out just from vibration. Use better quality tools and that will increase uh, the uh, experience or that will increase the uh, quality of experience of working on DIY boards or boards in general. That's it for today guys. Oh yeah, by the way, please use gloves. Yeah, remember the video when I was doing the, uh, the screw extractor tool? Well, my finger <laughs> still still got a hole in it. And this here is the, uh, yeah, it's the mortar that went off by mistake and sliced me up a bit. So safety, please guys. Goggles when you're drilling, uh, gloves, uh, yeah, if you can, that would be nice. This way you can probably save, save your skin a bit. All the best, like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Most importantly, ride safely. See you very soon. Bye.